Hello everyone, a quick video here on drawing skills for the IGCSE. Now in the IGCSE there is an alternative to practical paper where you're asked to show off your drawing skills. You're asked to draw a diagram perhaps of either something plant-based or animal-based. Now what I've got on the screen here is a picture of the, the leaf in green to the left. So that's something that maybe the exam question would give you. And then it would say make a full-size drawing of this particular image. So to the right, I've drawn on a separate bit of paper my interpretation of that leaf. Now you'd expect it to be a nice, neat label diagram, but there's actually more to it than that. These questions are always worth four marks. So there's four distinct things that we're looking for when we do these drawing questions. So I always use the same acronym and I go off this sold s o l d whenever I'm doing drawing questions I remember sold and each letter represents something different so what we're going to do is I'm going to talk you through what the s o l d represents when doing these uh, particular drawings and it's good practice to actually follow this for any kind of uh, biological drawing that you do during the course of the IGCSE but particularly for these questions so the first thing the s represents size now the image that you draw should be far larger than the one that you're given at least two-thirds greater of the size so you can see that my leaf on the right is far far bigger in size than the one on the left so straight away i would get one tick and i could put an s for size so if i was marking this like an examiner i'd give one mark because the size is there the o stands for outline. So you need a solid single outline, and that's really important throughout this whole picture. So you can see if you follow, if you look at the uh, outline of this leaf, the very outside outline rather of the leaf, you can see that it seems quite smooth. So you'd think to give me one mark potentially for that. But if I were to highlight particular areas on this image, so if I look at this part here, that I've drawn deliberately like this. If I look at this bit here, where the line goes slightly out of the image, or if I look at, if I take, for example, this part there, where I've extended the line maybe a bit too much, where the picture almost looks a bit messy. Because of those, I would not get the outline mark. So the outline mark I would lose out on. So that's really important, and I've drawn it deliberately like that to just highlight the importance of this particular aspect. So the outline needs to be nice and smooth. If I highlight in blue a region that I'm talking about, so if you look at this part here, you can see the lines are nice and clear and they're crisp, they're solid. That's what you're looking for. But because of this and this and this, the picture just looks a little bit messy, so you'd get marked down for that. So that's the O. The L stands for labels. Now you're looking for at least two. So I'm going to put here two plus. When you're drawing these, you're looking for at least two labels. So I haven't added any labels to this diagram as of yet, but I'm going to draw them on now. So when we think of labels, we could label, let's put here, this part here. In fact, I use a colour that stands out a bit more than the green a darker blue here. So this region is the petiole. You can see these here. These are the veins. We've got, in fact we will write it up here, this here is a serrated edge. We've got in the middle, we can put in the mid rib. So we've got four labels there. We'll leave it at that for a moment. So I would get the mark for that because I've included at least two labels. So I could give myself another mark and put an L for the labels. Now, one thing that is really important is that you cannot label anything or identify anything that isn't clearly visible in the actual picture. So if I look at the, the, the image of the green leaf, I can see this petiole, I can see the midrib, I can see these veins, I can see the serrated edge. 
I can't, though, see things like stomata. I can't see things like palisade cells. Now, in our GCSE, you learn about these things as when you do the structure of the leaf. You learn about spongy mesophyll cells, palisade waxy cuticle. But because you can't truly see those on this diagram, you don't include them. A common misconception, or mistake rather, when drawing or presented with a leaf, um, one that I've seen is many students draw the cross section of the leaf with the wax cuticle at the top and the lower epidermal layer, and guard cells and stomata at the bottom. That's not what this particular question in the video is asking. You literally just have to draw almost identically the picture that they give you. So this leaf is the exact picture they gave me in this question. So I replicate that exact picture in the drawing. So we're left with the D of my sold an acronym, and D stands for detail. Now again, going back to my previous point, it's got to be details that you can see. So it's details like, for example, the where you've got, if I just draw it on here, some of these veins meeting. It's the details of, for example, that you see the start of the midrib, where the midrib meets the petiole, where they start to branch out. It's the details to do with the kind of serrated edge. You're looking for actual detail that you can see in the image. Detail does not include, and if I highlight these again, things like this. Now I've deliberately drawn this image with shading. Shading is an absolute no. You are not allowed in these questions to do any form of shading, even if you think the image will be improved by the shading, even if you think that uh, it looks more lifelike with the shading, you don't include it, even if you think it would look better with. So because I've included shading on this image, I cannot, I'll do this in red, I cannot get a mark for detail because of the shading. I should have kept it like, and if I highlight in blue again, if we look at a region that looks quite shaded, like at the top here, if you look at the real image of the leaf, you can see it looks like, if you were to do an artistic impression of that, you can see there's a little bit of shading you could do there. In my image, however, there's no shading done. But because I have done shading on the right side of my image, I can't get any marks for that. So for this particular question, I would score two, out of four, because I have the size and the labels. For the outline, I would just need to keep things a little bit neater, so where I put an asterisk here, just avoid things like that. And if I avoid the shading, that would get the mark for detail. So there you have it. Just a few tips for the alternative to practical paper, the drawing question that you always get. If you look at past papers for this, you will always find a drawing skill question. It will always be worth four marks. And the marks come from S, the size, O, the outline, L, the labels, at least two or more, and D, the detail. Okay, hope all that helps.